As has long been known, Amy Roloff disagreed with her ex-husband Matt over when he decided to put the farm up for sale and how he treated his sons at that point. Amy was saddened that Matt did not give either of his sons a chance to purchase the property before putting it up for sale. However, in the latest episode of Little People Big World, Roloff made it clear that it wasn't the sale of the farm that was the problem, much further and more profound. Here's what happened. Amy and her second husband Chris Merrick were discussing how they would plant an herb garden when Amy began to get annoyed. We're looking at this differently, and our comprehension is different, Amy told Chris. In confession, Merrick said, In my mind, I feel like I'm explaining it very well, very logically, and it makes sense. No argument needed, and sometimes I get a little frustrated because Amy's not catching on. After the couple seemed to have reached an agreement and Chris patted the couple on the back for their ability to negotiate, Amy was strangely offended by the term and then revealed the reason for it in her confession. I am sensitive to that. I think it has a lot to do with trying to be so careful about my image and how people look at me throughout my whole life. Because all it takes is one little thing and poof, you're dismissed. Amy then revealed her past. I do have a tendency to be a little more sensitive because I still have that old adage from growing up and trying to fit in, trying to meet other people's expectations. Those elements I know definitely came into my marriage with Matt. There was a lot of where I didn't feel as supported or encouraged and when you have that little bit over time, it can deflate you. Amy and Matt had been married for more than two decades. However, Amy accused Matt of cheating with his current girlfriend Karen Chandler and there was a lot of bitterness between them. Amy explained that her self-esteem issues weren't due to Matt and their failed relationship. I think early on that I had to push Amy sometimes to talk about stuff, Chris said, and that prompted his spouse to agree and respond. I think part of me struggled internally. I was also afraid that if I didn't say something right, he'd be walking out the door. At this point, Amy broke down and continued. There are moments that go back to my childhood. I'm just glad that he thinks I'm good enough. And then Chris proved that he was a keeper. He leaned over, hugged his wife and whispered, more than good enough. Ah, oh, how sweet. Would you like to subscribe to my channel to hear some more sweet stuff in future?